I think I would consider, I really like the biographical book, autobiographical you know, of uh, Rose and Milton Friedman. This is uh, two lucky people. Uh, I certainly feel that way, uh, that I got very fortunate in support that I received when I wanted to start a think tank in India. Uh, I saw that that was an interesting way to combine academic life with an activist life. So I'm not a kind of activist who can go on the street and do the dharnas and fight those battles on the street. I'm more of an academic uh, by training, by temperament, uh, and I think generally as a person. And I like the idea that I could engage with the ideas uh, through think tank right? and maybe thereby contribute to larger public discourse in India. And I would say, no, overall, looking back on the 24 year journey, I'm quite happy with what we have been able to do, right? despite the great odds uh, against uh, our survival and continuation. I think most people, when I started in 1997, uh, thought that it was sort of a crazy idea, a crazy dream. I think many of them predicted that within a couple of years, uh, I would get tired and go back to US. Uh, some had given me five years, so that was most generous uh, time horizon that I received at the time. That maybe five years would be good enough for you. Uh, after that, you are likely to go back to where you came from in a sense. But I'm happy that I could stay on. I think largely because of the you know, people like you as well, and some of the people who are with CCS today and have been with CCS over the entire journey. So many people who worked with uh, CCS, many of them who got through our training programs and began to promote these ideas in their own walks of life, wherever they went, went uh, in their own career path. So I feel overall it's been a very successful journey. I wouldn't do it otherwise, uh, any, any differently. Well, one can think about doing things differently, but I think in, the, in terms of broad choice uh, of doing what I set out to do, I think it has been a uh, very fulfilling journey. I think in terms of uh, initial experiences uh, of starting CCS, uh, I think one that comes to my mind uh, first and foremost uh, is about uh, uh, a talk I had given in the first couple of years of CCS uh, to one of the newspaper editorial team. Uh, so I was invited by the editor of the newspaper to give a sort of talk uh, to the team. Uh, in terms of you know, what's my motivation, why I'm here, what I want to do, what trajectory of the work uh, that I foresee uh, CCS doing moving forward. So after I made my brief presentation about the broad ideas uh, about CCS and what I want to achieve, uh, one of the first questions that came from the editorial team, and this was one of the pink newspapers, as we call it, one of the business newspapers uh, in India, right? The first question I got uh, from one of the senior members of the editorial team was, how much is CIA paying you? And I think that question is really symptomatic right? in, in a very, very fundamental way of Indian mindset. Right? Uh, and that is how I think most people thought, of course, some people were able to articulate and say it out loud. Uh, but many certainly thought uh, in the back of their mind, right? That nobody will come to India to talk about liberal ideas and uh, sort of no open markets, property markets, uh, working for the poor, and how the market actually helps the poor, right? Why markets are important for them, not just for uh, business tycoons. Right? And that whole set of ideas, they thought that nobody can talk about this, nobody would be willing to come to India to talk about them unless somebody is paying them. Right, in some sinister way uh, and promoting them to come to India to do this. Right? Uh, I think that's certainly the mindset, of course, popularized by Indira Gandhi in terms of the foreign hand uh, and even continues to some extent uh, today in much of the public discourse. 